By default, Audacity supports a certain number of formats. So in order to make it support more formats, you may want to install FFMPZ library. So to do that, I'm going to go around into edit and then I'm going to go around into preferences. Once I do that, you can see libraries is an option over here. Once you go to libraries, you can see that these are the options. So you got the uh, FFMPZ library. You can locate it out if you had already downloaded it. But in my case, I haven't downloaded it. So I'm going to go around into download option right here. Once I do, do that, it opens up the web page in um, the web browser, my default web browser. And in order to download it, I'm going to go on to the version that I uh, want to download. In my case, I'm using Windows. So I'm going to go around into FFMPZ installation section right here. Then to download out the installation file, I'm going to go around into the um, installing FFMPZ for Windows on the full instruction part right here. And here I have the download page uh, link as you can see right here. Once you go in there, it opens up another page where I can download the installer. So you can download the zip or the installer.exe. So I'm just going to in download the installer exe itself. So it is downloading that as you can see right here. So once it downloads, I can open it. But before that, I'm going to close the Audacity application first because it is recommended that you close the application before you run this up right here. So on the download, you can see that this is the installation file. I'm going to click on open file right here and it opens up the installer right here. And I'm going to go around, accept it. You can read the user license agreements and then just install it out right here. And that's it. That's how you can install FFMPZ library. And once you start your Audacity again, it'll support M4A and other audio formats that you uh, previously wouldn't have been able to work with.